Hello friends, in this video we will look at how to calculate factorial using Prelog code. For this we will be writing a small piece of code but before that if you don't know what is a uh, factorial, so let us look at a small example. Suppose I want to calculate the factorial of 4 which is mathematical notation is to put an exclamation mark after the number. The expansion is 4 in multiply by 3, multiply by 2, multiply by 1. So we will start from the number itself and keep on decrementing by 1 till we reach 1. And the answer for this will be 4, 3, 12, 12 into 2, 24. So the factorial of 4 is 24. Now let us look at a small piece of code that is written in Prolog so that we can understand how to write the code in Prolog. So first of all we have to give the base case. We will be using recursion in Prolog. So the base case is that uh, if we reach 0 then the factorial of 0 is 1. So we will write factorial and in the bracket factorial is a predicate here. In the bracket we will say for the value 0 we should return the value of 1 as the factorial. So this becomes our base case. Uh, you can also give 1, uh, similarly you can also give for 1 that if we write factorial 1 comma 1 that means for 1 also the factorial is 1 and all the predicates have to be in the small case. Please take care of this. Then after we have defined the base cases, now we will define the actual calculation where we will keep on decrementing from the number n and we will reach up to 1 so that recursive calls can be made. So n is the number for which we want to calculate the factorial and f will be the final answer which we will return on the screen. Now if n is more than 0 that means that value is more than 0 only then this code should execute. All the statements written here must return a value of true only then this clause will return the truth value of true. So if n is more than 0 then we use another variable n1 and we initialize it as n minus 1 value of n minus 1 is, is the assignment operator in Prolog. So we are assigning a number lesser to n n1 and then we are calling factorial again with this smaller number and f1 as the factorial that will be returned for this smaller number and then f is n into the factorial of the smaller number. So what will happen? Suppose we give 4 here. So first of all we will go come to the 0 definition. This will not match because we are saying only for 0 this statement should return a value of truth. This will also not work because for only value of 1 this will return the value of 1. So we will come to this part, n is assigned the value of 4, now 4 is more than 0. So what we will do is we will come here, we will decrement 4 by 1 and 3 will be assigned to n1 and for 3 we will call this recursive algorithm and after returning 3 will return the factorial of 6 and so 4 into 6 will be performed. And similarly we will do for 3, 2 and then uh, the recursive calls will return the values backward and that will be used to calculate the factorial. Now let us look at the output. On the prolog prompt you will give the query as you will write factorial in the bracket the number for which you want to calculate the factorial like here we have written 5 and then comma f is a variable here whose value factor the code is going to find out. So then you give f is equal to 120 uh, is returned as answer because factorial of 5 is 120 and this is the code which we have given to Prolog. So I hope this video is useful to you. If you find my videos useful, please subscribe to my channel and recommend to your friends and uh, I will be sharing more videos with you related to Prolog and thank you very much.